국내 연구진이 식물에서 줄기세포를 배양했습니다. 값싸고 빠르게 항암제를 생산하는 계기가 될것 같습니다. 이은정 과학전문기자입니다. 사람의 조직에서 배양하는 줄기세포는 많이 들어보셨겠지만 식물 줄기세포는 좀 생소하시죠. 어, 식물에게도 어떤 조직으로도 분화할 수 있는 어, 이런 줄기세포가 있는데 우리나라의 연구진이 세계 최초로 식물 줄기세포를 분리 배양하는 데 성공했습니다. 나무를 채세포 복제해 대량으로 생산하고 또 나무 줄기세포로 항암제 등 유용한 약물을 만들 수 있는 기술이 국내에서 개발됐습니다. 국내 바이오 기업이 세계 처음으로 식물의 형성층에서 줄기세포를 분리해 배양하는 데 성공했습니다. River Monsters, Tuesday night on Discovery Channel. Lurking in this mountain range is an elusive life form. Some say its fleshy body mimics the human shape and that it possesses healing properties. Wild ginseng. Ginseng was first discovered in China over 3,000 years ago. Today, it's a much sought-after herb throughout Northeast Asia. And when ginseng is spotted, he lets the whole world know in the traditional Korean way. Ah, 가지가 네 개고 잎이 다 새긴 걸 보니까 이게 4933, 정 4933 봤다, 신 봤다. Digging delicately to avoid damage, it can take up to half a day to retrieve a single root. So why all the hype about the old stuff? 동고는 왜 그러냐면은 산삼이라 하면은 산에서 이제 그 산의 전기와 지기 그걸 오랜 세월 이제 이 산삼의 몸통에 축적이 되므로 해서. Research seems to suggest that ginseng can help lower blood sugar and enhance immune function. And according to some of the earliest written accounts of ginseng, it can quieten the spirit and curb emotions. Well, it seems to have done neither for him, but that's probably down to the price tag on this baby. 90-year-old ginseng can fetch up to 50,000 US dollars. For those too busy to hunt for wild ginseng, there may be an easier way to get a ginseng fix. This is where these scientists come in. They take a piece of wild ginseng and perform surgery, searching for a very tiny part of the root, the plant cell. Mr. Young Woo Jin has been studying plants for years and recently published his findings in Nature Biotechnology Journal. 강인한 생명력이 있습니다. 어떠한 환경 조건에서도 그러니까 예를 들면 UV나 이런 더위, 추위들을 이길 수 있는 그 생명 조건이 나무 안에 있는데 그 조건을 대표할 수 있는 게 나무 안에 있는 플랜트 스템 셀입니다. These cells have long intrigued scientists for their regenerative properties. Known as the immortal cell, they divide throughout the life of the plant and are responsible for growth. Like fierce little bodyguards, they also protect the plant against the elements. These researchers believe that their discovery, dobule cells, also have strong antioxidant characteristics, and they have a simple lab experiment to prove it. 이거는 과산화 수소고요. 과산화 수소를 떨어뜨렸을 때 황산 활성이 크다고 하면 기포가 많이 발생합니다. Dobule cells on the left quickly break it down into water and oxygen, while the other plant cells on the right barely react, showing what they believe to be the cell's antioxidizing properties. Professor Gary Loke from the University of Edinburgh has recently published his research on these cells in Nature Biotechnology Journal. Plant stem cell is a cell that has the abilities to both replenish itself by cell division and also to change into a variety of uh, distinct uh, specialized cells. These multipotent cells are located in the tips of a plant's roots and shoots and also in vascular tissue, but they're notoriously difficult to isolate. Researchers at this company have managed to isolate these multipotent cells and name them Dobule, or New Star in Korean. And this has never been accomplished previously and is a major breakthrough in plant biotechnology.
They now hope to grow ginseng cells in a lab instead of hunting for them in the wild, making life a lot more convenient for fans of this rare medicinal root. But it seems this scientist is not quite ready to share his technique with the world just yet. I'm sorry, but top secret. Mr. Jin believes he's found a way to harness the power of the dobule cells and use it in everyday food, including this drink. Once the researchers have these multipotent cells, they're then cultured in these jars, where they grow and grow and grow at an alarming rate. All this while, the master is still looking for his root.